and pushes the little pump. <laughs> Push rod fury. Got the Bendix carburetor out. Take a look see Lou and all of this. So you can see you give it a little bit of throttle. Accelerator pump isn't working. It's missing parts. See the last person didn't care all that much. They left part of the gasket, so we'll put some WD-40 on that to help soften that up. It's also going to go in ultrasonic cleaner, I think. Kadoki. Okay. Oop, that's parts cleaner. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to be high from that. I thought that was WD-40. WD-40. Helps move all kinds of stuff. All right. There's the choke. And the real business is in here. Right, so let's get that taken apart. Okay. Wow, that, look, that looks really good. Brand new. Boop. Let's see, does this come apart? No, it does not. So we need a small screwdriver. There we go. Okay. That's clean. Ah, I'm just gonna clean it. I'm like, that's... Rebuild the accelerator pump because I don't trust. Oh no. I don't trust their handiwork. But yeah, all this stuff is... That's gummed up. Okay. So, all right. This is not the worst carburetor I've seen by any measure. But we'll put together a new accelerator pump. That's a bit weird looking. Oh, that's leather. That's why. But it's all dried up. Yeah, that's leather. Okie dokie. But it's super dry. So this has got to get fixed. Float bowl is in good shape. It's got a drain plug. See if that drain plug comes out. Yeah, look at that. Not all my bikes have drain plugs in the carbs. This is fantastic. Keep it looky here. that in Oop. and then a little spring that's gonna want to jump out zoinks so take a look at that Steve what the heck that's how that goes together Brand new needle. Gosh, rebuilding the carburetor was the last thing they should have worried about on this carb. 
That is nice and sparkly. Look at that. Parts are pretty clean. Accelerator pump looks mashed, but it looks like it's brand new and never used. But yeah, the bike would never start given all the problems inside of the Bendix assembly. But there's your Zenith carburetor. Bendix Zenith. All good to go. We put it in the ultrasonic cleaner last night. I should have put some gasket. I don't have any gasket remover, but there needs to be some gasket removing done there. And then uh, in the meantime, I'm going to evaporate some of this stuff because it's kind of funky. And I'll probably take that off too. My only concern is this screw. Oh, that's a good, oh, look at that, no concerns there. So that's brass, that's not gonna go in. Put that in my little tray. This can go into the evapor rust. Okay, let's see. Nope, with this can. This one could be it. There we go. We know this side goes up, so I'll put a marker. The arrow pointing up. It doesn't the vaporus doesn't hurt. Um any the metal surfaces like brass or zinc or anything, so you're not going to damage anything by using it. And then we'll evapor rust these bits. Like this. I'm going to put some free in one oil on. to soften that up. So these sat in evaporous to get rid of that pesky surface rust. They showed you. Of course, it'll rust up again. I don't do something about it. OK, 
Okay, I just took these caps off. A pair of chin locks, so that looked pretty bad. Okay, got a few things here to do in the carburetor. Got everything clean. And now we need to start reassembling things. So, just the neatest workbench. Oh. Let's see if we can be careful. Spring. Like for this, it's flawless. This is beautiful. So that's where that's going to go. That ring goes there. The lightest little coat of this red rubber grease on there. Here. Going the same way. Let's see if I rest that there. And I tap here. Well, don't do what I do. So that's how that goes. These smaller screws are the set screws for the cables. So I'm just going to put those in just so they don't get lost. There we go. We have this surface here. So I'm going to put that in here like that. It should line up perfectly. Oops. And it does. Okay. Or someone points it out to me. Hopefully I make less. This I could have accomplished if I had marked it before I took it apart, not after. All right, for this throttle plate, you want to snap this to center it. The screws are actually loose. I loosen them up. And then once it's centered, then you snug it up. So we're going to put that on. Yeah, I'll take luck anytime. This was actually stuck in my shoe. It's the new one. But I was able to reuse the old spring. And it doesn't look like it ever got used because this bike was never going to start in the first place. Look at these profiles. They're different. This is what was in there. And this is what came with the genuine replacement kit, rebuild kit. So I hope that this works well. All right, so it goes in like this, but 
I still don't understand the whole float bolt thing. Like it has to go down like that in the float bowl. So you have to like tuck it in there. And that's where I was getting confused. And it tells you to set three six oops, not three eighths, three sixteenths. Should be three sixteenths of an inch. So earlier we saw we had a massive gap on the float. So this float was way too low, which means it would never get fuel in the first place. And so I went ahead and I pushed the tab up. And that should get us into a better spot. There we go. Looks like I did it too much, but now I don't have a pin in yet. So let's just see if this works. Okay, well, I went a little bananas on that one. So I don't have the float height correct. So that should be 3 eighths and it through 3 sixteenths. Clearly not 3 sixteenths. Oh! So now we want to raise that back. What a bear. Till I get the right. It's still not there. You can see that the 3 sixteenths should stop there. It stops there. Before it was way, way off. We're getting there. Can you see that? I think we have it. right there it's like that's not it's like a third of a millimeter away I'm happy with that I think that should work and this has to the spring has to be in the bowl so like you can't just put the bowl on you have to bend the spring down and somehow get the Pull on it like that, yeah, like that. Do you see how I did that? Look. And then I'm gonna, we'd already put a new o ring, put a little red rubber grease on it, and a new gasket, and so that should go in there. that in my hand. I'm not exactly sure how this works. So you definitely don't want to put this in and damage it. So if you tear this 
think your life becomes complicated. Hello. You made all of these? I made a few of them. Pull the throttle. It pushes a little pump.